Well, what's in a name? In this case, maybe a giant lawsuit that could cripple a small family business. At the centre of it all, yo, as in yogurt. Swirling mounds of creamy frozen yogurt. Accompanied by a buffet of fruits, nuts and sweets, the ultimate towering treat. We just thought, uh, you know, yogurt in Oakley and shortened and abbreviated that and we've come up with Yokely. It's been so catchy, people just love it. But not everyone is salivating. They're basically saying that you've got six months to change your name, otherwise we're, uh, we're going to the federal court. The owners of Yochi, a much bigger self-serve frozen yoghurt business, is threatening to take Yochi to the federal court. They uh, requested that we immediately cease and forever refrain from using the Yochi mark, the Yochi get-up, any get-up that is similar to the Yochi get-up and, and the Yochi layout. So pretty much they've asked us to start all over again. George and Effie Katsakis are part owners of Yokely. How'd you come up with the name? George came up with, you know, he was going through yogurt, 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 yo we're in Oakley, so um, yogurt and Oakley, Yokely. That's how we came up with it. So it was all about the suburb, people know Oakley, they know it's a Greek precinct, and it was, it was just something that really fitted well together, had a really good ring to it. No, it's not the same. Yokely, Yochi is different, right? <laughs> There's Maybe. a clear difference. Yochi's lawyers say Yochi is infringing the Yochi trademarks and is at least likely to mislead and deceive consumers. When you came up with the name Yochi, did it cross your mind it is kind of similar to Yochi? Never. Never. I mean, K L I C H I, it sounds totally different. I mean, there's a lot of stores that are out there. There's Yo My Goodness, there's Yo Get It, there's a lot of different companies. Yochi has been around since 2012. Its website claiming to have kick-started Melbourne's self-serve frozen yoghurt scene. A current affair spoke to Yochi's owners today who say they are no longer asking Yochi to change the interior of their shop and they're happy for the business to keep its name so long as the font is changed to appear sufficiently different. Otherwise, they will pursue legal proceedings to protect their trademark. It's where the line is crossed between a unique business and a structure that is already in existence and you're trying to piggyback off that structure, that's where you can get yourself in legal strife. Lawyer Justin Lawrence from Henderson and Ball. A large business will say, look, just be aware you're in our yard and you need to just pull your head in a little bit because we're big and we want to stay big. Sometimes that's a tactic used by large businesses. I almost feel, feel like we've been bullied. From the neon lights to the yoghurt pouring station and rows of toppings, Yo Chi says Yo Klee's fit out is too similar. This is obviously a health regulation. We need to have the glass over the top to protect the food that's underneath it. So, so was Yochi asking you to take the glass away? Yeah, they were saying it was too similar to theirs. Everyone's got the same sort of cup. And what so did Yochi want you to do? Change this, it was too similar to theirs, so. A cup's a cup. A cup is a cup. Videos on each of the business's Instagram accounts spell out the self-serve process in the same way. But Effie tells us they've already made changes. We did change it to appease them, so we called it Mango Magic and we changed the Greek one to the Sweet Greek. Having gotten through COVID and the impact that had on small business, to then receive this legal letter weeks after, or days after opening, must have been a hit. Oh, it's just killed us. It's absolutely killed us. Ask a lawyer and they'll tell you this fight comes down to whether Yo Kli is deceptively similar to Yo Chi. What does that mean? Well, if we asked 10 people what this shop is and most of them mistook it for Yo Chi, then it would virtually be case closed. What shop's this? Yo Kli. Okay, does it remind you of anything? Yo Kli. Anything else? Greek yogurt. Yo Kli. That's okay. Very nice thing. I like it. Yokely. So you combine two things, Yokely and Oakley. Sweet. So you're not confused? No, I'm not. What is this shop? Ah, uh, Yokely. Not Yochi? No, Yokely. Does it remind you of anything else? Oakley. Mm. Yochi? It looks like a Greek version of Yochi. If there was a name that was sounded like Yokely but wasn't Yokely, they'd be in a much stronger position. It's the yo, I reckon. It's the yo that concerns me for sure. We're standing firm. We, we're not big and massive and 
But what we are is we're, we're battlers. We just keep working to provide a living for our family.